so I ended up getting this thing. <laughs> I got a 3D printer. <laughs> so there's many reasons why I've always wanted a 3D printer. Um, first of all, I never knew how cheap they were. If I if I would have known how cheap they were, then I would have gotten one way sooner. But I got this thing for uh, 200 bucks on Amazon. I'll, I'll link it in the description. Not that I'm like sponsored or anything. Yeah, I'm not sponsored. I'm not that big on YouTube, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna throw the link in the description because it's a great printer. I've had lots of luck with it. If any of you want to get into 3D printing, then go ahead and try it out. So you all probably know Steve Knows on YouTube. He does a bunch of VR stuff, the Oculus Quest, and he ended up putting this video out about this Boneworks head strap of sorts. Um, I'll link that in the description too. Go ahead and check that out. So, it's been a week. Welcome to hell. <laughs> so, this print has taken way longer than I thought. Obviously, like, if I did all the prints right in a row, I could knock it out in about two days, but just trying to, like, manage it and make sure that my print doesn't fail, um, you can actually hear it in the background right now. It's a pain in the butt, but didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt, so if you want to print it, go ahead. It's fun, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, let's skip to the montage here, because it's kind of the cool part of the video. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys on the other side. So guys, after a week of hard work, we finally have the head strap. <laughs> but anyways, as you see right here, I am struggling immensely and questioning my life choices right now trying to put this head strap together. So um, make sure to click the like down there to increase my chances of not turning into a raging fireball. You know, I don't know if I'm going to edit that out or not. Ah, what the hell, I'll keep it in. But from this being my first time using a 3D printer, I am actually really impressed. I never would have thought that this would have just appeared out of thin air, but hey, apparently it works that way. So anyways, let's just skip ahead right here, go through all that, and now let's go test this thing. So my first impressions. I've literally recorded this five times so I keep stumbling on it. <laughs> I'm not joking. This thing is absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend getting it. If you have a 3D printer, link is down in the description, you can go print it right now. But anyways, personally, in my opinion, I think it looks really cool, and as a counterweight, it acts really well. It doesn't look like one of those fat battery packs that people throw on the back of their heads, and I don't know. I'm just not into that. I mean, I kind of like keeping the stylish look of the Oculus Quest, but this thing really makes this VR headset into like a practical helmet. It's pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah, as I said before, if you got a printer, I would highly recommend it. Super fun. Anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you guys like the new format. Comment down below if you liked it or didn't like it. I mean, that's okay too. But let me know if there's any changes that you want to be made to it or if it is perfectly fine. But anyways, you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'm signing out or something. <laughs> See you guys.